official ready to drop the puck. The Wild have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Bouchard. Here they come on the attack. Looks to get the puck over to Michael. Quick pass to Champion. Slides it across to Hyman. And he gives it over to McDavid. Got to figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Ross got the puck and he's going to hang on. McDavid's foot speed can make him dangerous, and that's his wheel zone ability. Silverberg's known for his 1T zone ability, and his teammates love setting him up for that lethal one timer when on the attack. Let's go! online 24-7, 365 online. But don't forget, you can also visit their uh, location in person at the arena, open seven days a week. Check it out, some very cool stuff. Keep your hands on these days. Kane's lugging the puck. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. The Oilers move it in. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Koivu's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his body to make the play! the glove to get a piece of it. Closer to the halfway point of this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Stalls, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Point blank, stop, point one. He's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Minnesota's got the puck against the board. And that's blocked from someone in front. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Shot! And he takes the pass. 
And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Lavoie. Moves along the boards with some purpose. The Oilers, oh, he got rocked and dumped right into his own bench. Well, he's getting a clear message to get out of here. The only good thing is it's his own teammates that can pick him up. Love save and just enough of it. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. There's the physical side. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Slides the puck oh. over to Dreisaitl. I'm not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Poked away in the offensive end. Demise him with the save. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Cut into the slot. the halfway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Michaels won it off the faceoff. Pass to Johns. Moves it to Prosser. Here's a chance! Great save from in tight. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Quick feed to Smith. Sends a pass over. And it's a textbook body contact there. And that one's stopped. player that knows the importance of retrieving pucks to keep the play going, guys. His no-contest zone ability means he goes into those 50-50 puck battles and more often than not, wins possession. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. With the stop. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready to go and we're about moments away from puck drop. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Huge steal at his own end. Dumps it into the Ozone. And he takes the dish. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Pass across to Kroger. Lays the body into that play. Sends it in on the attack. Minnesota's looking to break out. Battling for it along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck. Too much traffic in the lane. And he loses control here. Sends the feet in front. And that's stopped. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. And look at that. They finally get it out. And here they go in transition. Sends it over to Smith. Devastating collision against the wall. Here's a short pass to Emrah. Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. 
Picked up along the boards by Nurse. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Lays into the body on the play. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Moving into the attacking zone. Passes it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. And down he goes as the puck goes free. There he is from the slot. Oh, it's denied by Wall. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. in the box the next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports well the first 20 is in the box let's see what this second period offers Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Edmonton's performance in the first period was lackluster. They didn't generate any offense, and they weren't attacking with any kind of speed. They're going to have to find a way to shore that up, James, because their opponent is really taking it to them. They're fortunate that this game is still tied. Made the stop on the play. He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets square to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Receives the pass. Makes his presence known on the ice. And he's got the answer for that one. Dreisaitl's back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Koivu's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Scoops up the puck now. Sends it over to Burns. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Oilers are in transition. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Grabbed along the board by Burns. Silverberg's taking it from his own end. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Oh, and they go back on offense. Handles the puck. Drives it to the crease. They score. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Well, the backhander's going to beat the goaltender on this one, James, but I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. The Oilers are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Minnesota's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. The Oilers take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Hooked away by Prosser. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Quick feed to Stahl. Turned aside with the glove by Roy. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Oilers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Minnesota's got it and they're on the attack. Crosser's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. With the blast. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Wall. More than one goal lead. There's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you 
can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Puck slid down the ice. Slides it over with pace to Costa Spare. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Minnesota's won the draw. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. Well, he's so fast, he's strong, and he's got incredible balance. And these are different layers to his game when you combine it with the way and speed of which he can move. Man, he's so dangerous. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a save he made on the one-timer. Good at covering the net and making himself look as big as possible while down in the butterfly position, guys. That's his butterfly effect, zone ability, and it's what helps him come up with the big stops. Centering pass, and that goes off a stick and off target. is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. Michaels, one possession. Slides the puck over. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Locks them. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. Takes the puck. Monster safe. Good one. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And he makes that save as well. Tremendous pressure here. Deflected shot. 
shot. Everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Wild have extended their lead to two goals here in the back half of the second show. What's jumping out for you here? Well, I know the analytics department's going to love it. It's going to be their possession time, James. I mean, they're holding on to the puck. They're owning it because they're managing it so well. Handles the puck from the left side. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Moves it quickly over to Kubalik. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Stalls ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. From the open ice, they gain the line. And that's a great heads-up play by Stahl. Well, no question, this is a frustrating play for everyone. It almost feels like it's going from bad to worse. You're losing, you're trying to get something going. Instead, you turn over the puck. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Strong defensive effort. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. And he slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. They score! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. The goaltenders are just so good in this league, James, that they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Edmonton suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. Slip feed. And that's intercepted by Leach. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Center and feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Now a quick pass to Michael. Oh, he held him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. Tries to feed it over to Champion. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Now he slides it up to the cloud. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Looking to get it out, and they'll get some fresh bodies on the ice after that clear. Uh, this is how you get a wave of momentum in your favor, James. You get fresh legs out there, and if you can pay attention to your habits and get those good shift changes, you find a way to create energy up and down your lineup. Getting into the later stages of this period, this one has been a good back-and-forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Oilers have it now. Wax it into the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Prosser. Takes the feed. From the left side, they gain the zone. And that's off a stick. Chance in front. 
And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. And Ross got it in the defensive zone. Takes it at center. Granlin's got the puck. And you can hear these fans calling for a shot in the dying seconds. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Minnesota's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. The Wild have the puck against the boards. He says, let's get physical on that play. Shot! Monster blocker stopped by Watt! He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. That goes off a twig. Minnesota's on the attack. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Champion. Takes a shot and by one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Minnesota's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And that's blocked away. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Nugent Hopkins looks around. And he's ridden off the puck. A chance in front. Can't connect the play. And he slides it quickly to Koivu. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Still has possession. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. The Wild have possession along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. And now he tries to get it across to Stahl. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Ross got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Pad save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Up along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Granlin's got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Passes up ahead for the left wing. The Oilers gain possession. The Wild have it now. Edmonton's got the puck. Hyman's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Makes the save. Takes a big hit. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Eckholm's going to play it against the half wall. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. 
Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Oh, a tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly if he doesn't want to get banged again. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance in front, and that's off target. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Oilers have it now. Quick feed to Leach. Minnesota's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he caught him. Uh, Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. You try to get your team going. Sometimes the fight is what happens, and this is exactly it, but the winner is going to the home team. Well, it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for. Hockey! Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Works it across to Nugent Hopkins. There's a shot! Oh, he misses on a great eight-plus scoring chance there! Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Here in the back half of this period, Minnesota's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Koibu's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Passes over to Silverberg. Handles the pass. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Oh, just got a piece of that one with that glove to keep it out. Gets the full use of his stick on the road check. Kane's picking up steam. Scooped up along the wall by Hyman. Handles the puck at the point. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Bouchard. Quick pass to Hyman. The Oilers have it from the corner. Silverberg's got the puck in his own zone. That's moved up ahead. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Center to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Gains the zone through center. Moves it to Michael. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. One-timer! And he gets in front of that one-timer! Oh, my! You can feel that from here! Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Across the line! Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And he lowers the boom there. Gaining steam here on the attack! Can't connect on the shot! Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Wow, his last save was so impressive, James. Really got a stop!
behind in a game, James. Sometimes you can get frustrated, rattled, and you can start to really see the body language go down, but they have stuck with it. They've clawed their way back, and they're in the game now. Edmonton's hard work, dedication, and perseverance has paid off here with a goal late in the third. I love that they battled all game to be in it, James, and they get the equalizer in the late stages. And now the momentum is in their favor. They've got to find a way to attack. This next shift is so important. They have their opponent on their heels. Shot! Oh, to nice look with the paddle save! Can't maintain possession after that hit. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Minnesota's got it now. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Coyotes are up next here on this homestand, and that's the final game here for this little stretch of games. And you know what? These fans are going to be rocking. We are going to be here as well. I mean, how many more excuses do you need to get yourself a ticket to be here? Come on, let's do it. He got all of that one. Oh, and they stopped that one on the one tire. Won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Here he is on the backhand. Slides the puck to Echo. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime, and it's coming up in just a matter of moments. You love these moments of drama if you're a sports fan, and overtime is set to get underway. Puck is dropped, and OT has begun. Grabs control of it at the point. Sends the feet in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Cutting to the front of the net. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Michaels won the draw inside his own end. Sends the pass over. It's a two on one. Digging in defensively to stop that rush. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Rocks him into the boards. Here's a short pass to Johns. Big stop. Taken along the wall by McDavid. And that's knocked away by Johns. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. A chance to end it! That stop and play continues! Oh, he had the game on his stick, James. He wants that opportunity again, but instead, they play on. Moves the puck down low. Sends the pass in front. And that's deflected off someone in front. The game on the line! He will break away! Oh, makes the save and will continue on! Draw here. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Oh, stick save and a butte. Great hit on the play. Save made by the goalie. Trying to shake the defender. Driving to the net. Oh, what a save. Sends it quickly to Kane. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Drills them. Nice lead pass from the goaltender. He got all of that hit. Puck picked up by Hyman. And a good solid hit on that play. Looking to end it.
This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Wild have taken in the offensive attack. Well, there it is. Overtime still fails to resolve anything to find a winner. So we'll take it to a shootout in moments. Crowd is on their feet. Shootout ready to go. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Um, this is why they practice it a lot of the time practice James goaltenders want to work on this so do shooters he does a great job of anticipating to make that save stop so this might be turning into a save instead of a shootout yeah I mean this is 1v1 against the goaltender and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease but most importantly he's tracking it scores my goodness there was some hot sauce on that shot that's called a snipe in the game James just recognizing that the goaltender is deep in the crease and just bearing it home Here we go, back half of round number two. They could use a little cheddar on this one. Scores! What a shot! Well, that's what we call a snipe, James. I mean, he just recognizes that the goaltender's deep in the crease and puts it away. with the two points if he can deliver here with a goal. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. And he says, uh-uh on that play. Yeah, the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Scores! That's how you do it. Wow! Uh, the goaltender's going to be frustrated with this one. He thought he had it. Tracked it perfectly. Read the shooter. Just goes off him and in. He needs a goal here to keep his team alive. Everything. Well, that'll bring it in to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.